in my previous video you have watched how to daisy you know, using as how to use a single board max 7219 here we're going to de I'm going to demonstrate to you how to use multiple boards in daisy chain mode <laughs> Okay, first thing you get to know about the program from the Brain Bits, which I got it from here, you could download that from the link I'll send or I'll type below. Here you're still, you're still using the same program, same um, everything, except for the uh, max in use variable. You can see that max in use one. It's how many MAX721 are connected. Connected. So let's try a bit more uh, uh, low level. Let's try two. 2 MAX7219 and the text would be not sound break but watch watch for more I'll be using a female to female 5 5 pin 5 wire connector for the MAX7219 it's very easy because there's an in and out pins for the MAX7219 board and module so it's very easy to use and I'm going to show you how still using the Pro Nano, or Pro, I mean Pro Mini, Arduino Pro Mini 5V 16MHz and the CP2102 programmer and these are these have separate videos explaining how these work and how are these uh, capable in driving things you can see that there's an output pin and we're going to use that VCC ground D out CS and clock. We're going to connect our wires and connectors there and connect it to the input of the other MAC7219 module. Okay, I've connected my output of this MAX7219 module. It's working. Blue is VCC, ground is gray, um, purple is D out, CS is white, and clock or CLK is black. Um, all pins are connected to the input except that the D out is connected to the D in of the input of the another of the other MAX7219 board. You can see there. VCC blue, ground gray, purple is D in from D out, and CS is white and clock is black. So these are oriented in a way that they are not supposed to be intersecting. That these pins should not intersect each other they should be complementary just like that but it's a bit different here I'll show you later how this how the are these oriented oriented so once you upload it it uploads and writes reads and it's done you can see that oops texts are running but they're not oriented properly so it's a bit difficult to orient so I'll just dim the lights for a bit let me show you this one's inverted supposed to be like that. This is the second second one, second ending at 7219. So I'll orient this first and you'll get a glimpse. So you can see here they're a bit spaced apart and they're oriented properly for more videos. Okay. You can see that the pins it's by an upper place. See that the pins are outside, they're not intersecting each other when they pl are placed together. It's a bit bad because if you put uh, modules on top it won't have the right space because of the wires and all those pins and what's good is that you can place it side by side when running and compared to the other modules of the MEX7219 these features can be screwed on the board properly with those holes underneath the PCB and they're just they just have a very small uh, they have a very small form factor here you can see that the wires are properly placed underneath the matrix and it's a bit neat, but it's still dirty for me because uh, look at that those wires are dangling uh, instead of connector. Although there are connectors or there are modules that are pre-connected, but they are not properly oriented, or if they are, there's a software manipulation that needs to be done. Here is you can customize, and you could you could do whatever you want for these modules. As you can see, the input is at the top, output is on the bottom, and the wire goes from the bottom down to the top again. It's daisy chaining. It's in series, but actually it's in parallel with the programs just doing its thing and switching and just 
manipulating the LEDs and the drivers in the circuit. So this is how you daisy chain the MEX7219. They're limited by the wire length because digital signal cannot reach as far as a kilometer. So you, you really need a consideration of your wires that you're going to use. So far these wires are okay for a short distance um, or short cascaded or daisy chained modules. But if you're planning a very long module, you should, I think, replace these wires by a shorter wire and a more quality kind of wire. And you're going to need an external power supply to drive the drivers and the LEDs because these consume a lot of power and compared to the microcontroller, the microcontroller can only provide so much of it but it's not enough to drive a lot so right here you're just using two if you want a more detailed uh, detailed uh, version of this there are a lot of videos out there that uses external power supply but I'm gonna make one soon I guess